Welcome! This tutorial shows you how to easy and efficiently code answers to open-ended questions with Smart Coder. After you've logged in, an overview of your projects is displayed and you can start a new coding project. Please enter a title and, if you like, a short description of your project. After clicking Proceed, you can upload your survey in Excel or CSV format. Now you can adapt the parameters of the automatic coding process. The language refers to the language of the survey data. Currently, Smart Coder supports German and English. The primary key allows you to associate the results generated by Smart Coder with the original data. In most cases, this is a unique identifier referring to the answers of a test subject. After you have selected the variables to be coded, you can start the Smart Coding process. An overview of the results is provided in terms of a smart code cloud and several statistics. The assignment of answers to codes can be edited by clicking on Edit Smart Codes. It's best to work in full screen mode. On the left, you see the codes that were automatically generated by Smart Coder. In this particular example, Smart Coder has identified 53 codes. On the right, the original answers are displayed. Codes and answers can be sorted alphabetically. Codes can also be sorted based on the number of assigned answers. These frequencies can be displayed as absolute numbers or as percentages. You can instantly see that some generated codes can be merged. Every time you select one or more codes on the left, only answers assigned to the respective codes are shown on the right. After selecting codes, click the Merge button. You may either enter a new code or simply choose one from the existing set of codes. At this point, both codes have been merged as Thomas Purin and all answers are assigned to this particular code. All codes that are assigned to a particular answer are displayed right below the respective answer. If you do not agree with a particular code assignment, you can remove it with a simple click. If a particular answer belongs to an additional or a different code, you can either drag the answer onto the respective code or you drag and drop the code onto the answer. You may also select and assign multiple codes or answers at the same time. If you wish to hide the codes in a list of answers, just click on the tag button. A second click reactivates the labels. If your particular code does not exist, you can add it manually. It is possible to rename codes. And to undo the changes you have made. If you delete a code, all answers assigned only to this particular code are moved into other topics. To help you recode the answers of the deleted code, you can also take a different approach. Select the code you plan to delete and activate the lock mode, which locks the currently displayed list of answers. If you now delete the selected code, all answers that were originally assigned to the deleted code are still kept in the answer list. Now you can start assigning codes to this particular set of answers. As soon as you have completed the assignment, deactivate the lock mode. Finally, have a look at the answers in other topics. You might spot answers that have not yet been assigned to a specific code. As soon as you have completed your coding task, save your changes and return to the overview. If you wish, you may start editing other variables. When you are done and after you have completed the payment via PayPal, you can download your coded survey in Excel format. Thank you very much for your interest in SmartCoder.